in these questions, we are being asked to expand double brackets. The question says expand and simplify. Expand means get rid of the brackets and simplify means collect the like terms. So we're going to expand the brackets, get rid of the brackets and then collect the like terms afterwards to simplify it. When we expand double brackets, we've got the whole of the first bracket multiplied by the whole of the second bracket which means we need to multiply both of the terms in the first bracket by both of the terms in the second bracket. So we're going to have a times a and a times 2. We're going to have 5 times a and 5 times 2. So we're going to have four terms. OK, let's get started. So a times a. a times a we can write as a squared. A number times itself is squared. Then we've got a times 2. a times 2 we can write as 2a. We always put the number before the letter. And 2a just means 2 times a. They're both positive, so it's going to be a plus. So it's a positive 2a, so we write plus 2a. Now 5 times a, we just write as 5a. And again, it's positive. So we write plus 5a. And we've got 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. And it's a positive again. So plus 10. We now look at collecting the like terms. So we, we've got an a squared term. We've got two a terms that we can add together. And a 10. So we can add together a's. We can't add a squares to a's because they're a different number. They're a different thing. We can only add things that are the same. So we've got a squared. We've got 2a plus 5a, which makes 7a. So we've got a squared plus 7a plus 10. And that is expanded and then simplified. So that is our answer. For the second one, we've got b times b b times b is b squared, b times a negative 2, so it's a positive times a negative, so it's going to have a negative answer, and 2 times b is 2b, so it's negative 2b. 5 times b is 5b, positive 5b, and 5 times negative 2, a positive times a negative is negative, and five twos are 10. So we've expanded. Now we simplify by collecting the like terms. We've got two B terms that we can add together. It's negative two B plus five B, or we could do it the other way around as five B take away two B. And either way, that should give us three B. So we've got B squared plus three B take away 10. On to the third one. So we've got c times c this time, which is c squared. We've got c times a positive 2. So a positive times a positive is positive. And two c's, we just write as 2c. We've got negative 5 times c, which is negative 5c. And we've got a negative 5 times a positive 2. A negative times a positive is negative, and 5 times 2 is 10. So we've got our c terms this time, we can add together. So we've got c squared, we've got 2c, take away 5c, which is negative 3c. And we've got our minus 10 on the end. And the fourth one, d times d is d squared. d times negative 2 is negative 2d. A positive times a negative is negative. Negative 5 times d is negative 5d. And negative 5 times negative 2. A negative times a negative is a positive. 
and 5 times 2 is 10. So we'll collect the like terms. So we've got d squared. We've got negative 2d, take away 5d. So negative 2 down 5 goes to negative 7. Okay, there's four for you to try here. So pause the video and give them a go. Okay, number one. So we're going to multiply both of the terms in the first bracket by both of the terms in the second bracket. So m times m and m times 7 and 4 times m and 4 times 7. So m times m is m squared. m times 7 is 7m. It's a positive 7m. 4 times m is 4m. And again, positive 4m. And 4 7s are 28. And again, it's positive, so plus 28. Collecting like terms, we've got m terms we can add together. So we've got m squared, we've got 7m plus 4m, which is 11m. So m squared plus 11m plus 28. For the second one, again, we're going to do both of the terms in the first bracket times both of the terms in the second bracket. So p times p makes p squared. p times a negative 2 is going to be negative 2p. Negative 9 times p, negative 9p. And negative 9 times negative 2, a negative times a negative is positive, and 9 times 2 is 18. So collecting the like terms, we've got two p terms. Negative 2 take away 9 is negative 11. So we've got p squared minus 11p plus 18. Question 3 g times g is g squared. 1 times g is 1g, or we just write that as g. Negative 8 times g is negative 8g. And negative 8 times a positive 1 is negative 8. And collecting like terms, We've got 1g take away 8g, which is negative 7g. And question 4. t times t is t squared. t times negative 3 is negative 3t. 6 times t is 6t. And 6 times negative 3 is going to be negative 18. Collecting the like terms, negative 3t plus 6t is 3t. So we've got t squared plus 3t minus 18. Okay, let's look at a second set of examples. So the first one. We're going to follow the same steps. We're still expanding double brackets. So we're still multiplying both of the terms in the first bracket by both of the terms in the second bracket. So a times a is a squared. a times negative 5 is negative 5a. 5 times a is 5a. And 5 times negative 5, positive times a negative is negative, and 5 fives are 25. So let's look at collecting the like terms here. We've got negative 5a plus 5a. So that makes 0. So we've got no a's. So what have we got? We've just got a squared minus 25. 5 a's take away 5 a's is nothing. So we've got no a terms. We've just got a squared minus 25. 
And this is called the difference of two squares. So A is squared. And 25 is a square number. It's 5 squared. So we've got two square numbers with a minus in the middle. It's called the difference of two squares. And that happens when we've got the same terms in the bracket. But one bracket's got a plus and the other one's got a minus. Let's look at number two. So we've got f times f, which is f squared. We've got f times g. f times g, we just write as fg. And that is just the letters in alphabetical order. We've got negative g times f. So a negative times a positive is negative. And g times f is fg. So we write f before g because it comes first in the alphabet. And we've got negative g times a positive g. A negative times a positive is negative, And g times g is g squared. Let's collect the like terms. So we've got 1fg. Take away 1fg, which is nothing. So again, we've got the difference of two squares, which you can see we've got the same terms in both brackets, but one's got a plus and one's got a minus. So it's f squared minus g squared. Let's look at number three. So I've got 2b times b this time, 2 times b times b. b times b is b squared, and it's multiplied by 2. So it's 2b squared. We've got 2b times 3. 3 times 2 is 6. And 6 times b is 6b. We've got negative 3 times b, which is negative 3b. And negative 3 times a positive 3 is negative 9. So collecting the like terms. We've got 6b take away 3b, which is 3b. So we've got 2b squared plus 3b minus 9. And you can see this one is not the difference of two squares because the terms in both brackets aren't the same. The first one's got a 2b and the second one's just got a b. And the last one, question four, we've got 5b plus 1 squared. So when something's squared, that means it's multiplied by itself. So we've got 5b plus 1 times 5b plus 1. And so we're going to follow the same steps. We're going to follow the same steps as all the other questions. We're going to do 5b times 5b. 5 fives are 25. b times b is b squared. So that's 25 b squared. 5b times 1 is 5b. 1 times 5b is 5b. And 1 times 1 is 1. So we've got 25b squared. We've got 5b and 5b, which makes 10b, plus 1. So 25b squared plus 10b plus 1. Okay, four for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. Okay, so we're multiplying both the terms in the first bracket by both the terms in the second bracket. We've got m times m, which is m squared. m times negative 9, negative 9m. Nine 9 times m, which is 9m. And positive 9 times negative 9 is a negative 81. Collecting like terms, negative 9m plus 9m is 0. So we've got m squared minus 81. So that's the difference of two squares. For the second one, we've got n minus 6 times n minus 6. We're going to follow the same steps, so n times n, n times negative 6, negative 6 times n, and negative 6 times negative 6. 
So n times n is n squared. n times negative 6 is negative 6n. Negative 6 times n is also negative 6n. And negative 6 times negative 6, negative times the negatives are positive, and 6 6 is a 36. So collecting the like terms, we've got negative 6n, take away another 6n, which goes to negative 12n. Question 3. We've got 7f plus 1 times 7f plus 1. 7f plus 1 times 7f plus 1. So it's going to be 7f times 7f, 7f times 1, 1 times 7f, and 1 times 1. So 7f times 7f, 7 7s are 49, f times f is f squared, 49 times f squared, we just write as 49f squared. 7f times 1 is 7f. 1 times 7f is also 7f. And 1, 1 is 1. So collecting the like terms, we've got 49f squared. 7f plus 7f is 14f and plus 1. And the last one, 2p times 3p is going to be 6p squared. 2p times negative 4, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. So it's negative 8p. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21p. And negative 7 times negative 4 is positive 28. So let's collect the like terms. We've got 6p squared. We've got negative 8p. Take away 21p. So down another 21 goes to negative 29p. And plus 28. Okay, let's finish up. So three questions, pause the video, then give them a go. Question one. So a times a is a squared. a times negative 4 is negative 4a. 6 times a is 6a. And 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Collecting the like terms, we've got a squared, we've got negative 4a plus 6a, which is 2a. So a squared plus 2a minus 24. Question 2. This is going to be the difference of two squares. So b times b is b squared. b times positive 7 is positive 7b b times negative 7 is negative 7b, and negative 7 times positive 7 is negative 49. So when we collect like terms, our two middle terms are going to cancel out. 7b take away 7b is nothing, so we've got b squared minus 49. And the last one, 2c minus 5 squared, so 2c minus 5 times 2c minus 5. So 2c times 2c, that's 4c squared. 2c times negative 5 is negative 10c. Again, 2c times negative 5, negative 10c. And negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. So collecting the like terms, got 4c squared, we've got negative 10, take away 10, which is negative 20c, plus 25. 